All right. I love Illustrator and I love art brushes. We've got some new features for art brushes in Illustrator CS5, but I'm going to use an old technique combined with that to make some great looking type. Let's have a look. Fresh Ants Gears. Actually, makes no sense. It's just some words I typed here to help demonstrate the different art brushes. What you're looking at is real live text that has an art brush or a pattern brush uh, applied to it. And if I double click on this and change this to grass, I'll select it, choose a different art brush, and now I've got some grass on this. This is all live and editable. So how do we make these? Well, Illustrator ships with a ton of these art brushes. You can use them as is or you can tweak them. Let's go have a look. I'll create a new document here and just type the word garden. Actually, I want it in lowercase. Select that. Make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Okay. So, over here on the right hand side in our appearance panel, you'll notice that we have uh, the, the heading type with characters and opacity. It's really important that you understand that as soon as you start playing around with fill and stroke with text, you'll always have the character color. So in our case, the character color is black. You can't make it um, nothing. So it's not that like you can reduce the opacity of this. It has to be uh, a text layer. Okay, so keep that in mind. Next up, I'm going to go to the window menu and all the way down in our brush libraries, we've got a number of amazing brush libraries. These are the ones that ship with Illustrator. And the one I want is this interesting um, decorative text dividers. And when I call that up, it opens up this other window and I'll just drag this over and show you that we get quite a few different settings inside here. And this is the one I want, the text divider number 13. To me, it, it uh, fits really well with this garden word. And remember, this the typeface can be anything uh, that we want. I'm just going to drag this into my brushes and then I can close this up. If I save this now, that setting is saved within the document. If you just look at it and then close the document, it's not saved in there and you have to load it again. So it's just an easy way to get it in the document. As soon as I apply it to that type, then it also is included inside the document. Well, I can't just click on this and apply it because it won't work. There is no stroke on this type uh, the way that I want it. So over on the appearance panel, down in the bottom, we've got two buttons. One is add new stroke. The other is add new fill. I'm going to choose add new stroke and guess what? It adds a new fill automatically with a fill of nothing. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll get to that and we'll show you how that works. But right now we just wanted to add the stroke. So there's stroke. It's black one point. That's the default. So remember this is the text divider that I selected. Watch this when I click on it, all of a sudden, look at what happens to this text. We now have these beautiful leaves flowing around inside here and we've got that black background. So if I wanted to change the background color, um, I can double click down here on the bottom right and it selects the text. Remember I told you that no matter what we have on top of this, we still have the black text on the background. So at this point, I could choose any color I want and apply it to that text. So if I grab something in the green family, you can see we now have green text and we have that live uh, art brush going over top of this. Although I like this effect, what I want to control now in CS5 is the size of the actual leaves inside here. Because you notice that the leaves and everything, they're just blending around inside here and it's distorting them. So look at that. I mean, it's really cool, but the leaves I want to stay perfectly undistorted. So how do we do that? I'm going to drag this particular brush out to the page and zoom in and show you how this is made. Well, there's our leaf and then we've got these two ornamental pieces on the other side. I'm going to grab the direct select tool and just delete one side of this. Gone. And a little piece over there. Now I want this to be my new brush. Well, we've got a really cool uh, feature inside here and that is the ability to uh, override these brushes that, that we happen to have applied right now. So notice when I click on this, it's um, showing me that this 
brush is applied. Anytime you want to update this, if I hold down the Option key on Mac, Alt on Windows, and drag over top of this, it's going to open this up and reapply it, so it's going to update that setting. So this is the default that we had in previous versions of Illustrator, stretch to fit stroke length. Well, now we can choose stretch between guides. We've got a really easy to understand indicator down here, these dotted lines of what will be stretched. So when I move this over here, what will happen? Well, the leaf will not be stretched, but this bit of artwork at that end will be stretched. And here's a little gotcha. Although you see the preview button, don't trust it. Make your settings, click OK, and get out of it. Um, I think that there's a little bit of a problem in keeping up to everything that's going on. So just make those settings, click OK, and then we'll see this dialog box that asks us, do we want to apply those settings? So because we have something already uh, selected, we can apply that uh, to strokes, and now you see the update. Let's zoom in and look at that. We still have the artwork following the characters around, but look, each one of the leaves is beautifully pristine. I love that. When you think about it, you could layer any number of pieces of artwork inside here and have it update. There's one last thing I want to show you that I think really is cool. Let me get rid of this little piece down here at the bottom. Right now we've got our art brush over top of this, and we've got green text. What would this look like if it was just the art brush and no text at all? Hmm, how do we do that? Remember I told you we can't get rid of that underlying character. Sure, we could convert this into outlines and all that kind of stuff, but remember, I want to keep this live. So if we look over here at our appearance panel, we've got the stroke, and that's the text divider number 13. We have no fill, and we have characters. Watch what happens when I double click. It's selecting it. Remember we applied green up here in our color? What's the color of our background? It's white. When I click on make this white and deselect, wow, that's a pretty cool effect. So there we have the word garden with the art brush applied, the little leaves are not being stretched, but remember this is still live type. So when I double click on this and type in fresh, look at that, live and updatable. This is such a great way to work inside Illustrator, be able to take any kind of artwork and map it around the outside of letters and type and create this really cool stylized look. So get started on this and have fun. I've got some more gardening to attend to.